Ryan, are you sure there even is a key? Kendall saw Liza give it to him. We know David moved the bogus evidence from the safe. He needed an ally, someone that he could trust. So Liza's holding it for him. Whatever we're looking for is in her office. I would bet the house. <sighs> I'm gonna kill her. Okay, okay, take it easy. We got plenty of time to deal with her, okay? But for now... I know, I know. Find the key. Oh. What? Well, this, this drawer, it's like sticking on something. Okay, well, pull harder. Pull it out. I'm trying, I'm trying. Ugh. Oh my god, Ryan, I found it. Greenlee? Mayor, listen, my detectives are doing their job. You didn't need to call me down. Yes, I did. I have a bloodied assistant down the hall. I want a message sent that these animals can't go around carjacking people in Pine Valley. Especially when it's the mayor's assistant. Dr. We're on it. Yeah. Okay, and listen. Dr. One more thing. I really appreciate uh, getting my badge back. You want to keep it? You stay away from David Hayward. Are we clear on that? Dr. Crystal. Robert. I hope so. Hey, Chief. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. But uh, that part about Hayward? Yeah, you know I ain't gonna let that go. Like a dog with a bone. <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> one step at a time. And this, bam! Oh, the first one. Looks good on you. I know. I'm sure Angela will be happy to see that too. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, no, I meant. No, I'm no, not... no, 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 it's okay. She'll see it. She'll know. What do we do? Listen. Lay her down here in front of me. Rest her head in my lap. All right, she's breathing. Good pulse. Listen, Caleb, I want you to call 911. Use my name. Find out their ETA. Yes, I'm calling from Wild when Dr. Hubbard called in a fire. We've got a child here who is unconscious from smoke inhalation. How long before you get here? What do you mean, 10 minutes? Come on! We gotta... Just hurry up. Caleb, I want you to check the closets and the cabinets. Maybe David left a medical kit around here somewhere. Miranda, I need you to hang in there for me, okay? You're a strong little girl. And I need you to hold on, hold on, and hang in there for me. All right, I'm right here, sweetheart. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere, baby. All right, that's it, sweetheart. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Now, Miranda, I know you can hear me. And what I need for you is to wake up. I need you to open those big, beautiful, dark eyes. I know that you can. Come on, sweetie. I know that you can do it. Wake up. Wake up, Miranda. I found, I found wake the bag up. and I found oxygen. I need you to check and see if there's a stethoscope in there. If it is, hand it to me. All right, the oxygen tank should have an oxygen mask attached to it. I need you to take the mask and put the, open the valve and place it over her nose and mouth. She should stop coughing. Okay. All right. Got it. All right. All right, breathe it in. All right, breathe. All right, good girl. Good girl. All right. All right, keep breathing. Keep breathing, sweetheart. Paramedics. All right, breathe. Breathe, Miranda. 
Well, it's about time. All right. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That's it, sweetheart. Cough. Cough it out. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you. Wow. Never realized how much this meant to me until they took it away. Yeah, well, welcome back. We missed you. Thank you. Sorry, that's it. <sighs> Fowler. Yeah. But oh, wait, when did the call come in? Where is she? Okay. Okay. Thanks. What is it? A 911 call came in. It's Angie. There's been a fire at Wild Wind. What? How bad? She didn't say, but do you want me to go? No, 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 no. You get back to the station. You check on this car, Jack, and I'll, I'll handle this. What's going on here? I did all of this. Why would you do this? Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of embarrassing. It's okay. Tell me. Well, I was up late last night working, and so I, I decided to take a nap. I closed my eyes, and... Oh, God, David, it was so awful. What was? This dream I had. It was so real. It was uh, the night of the accident, and I was back on the road, losing control. I... I hit the guardrail, and I was flying through the air, and I was falling forever. Only this time, it was in slow motion. And the pain, oh, my God, David, I don't know if I told you, but I could hear every bone breaking in my body. I could feel the life draining out of me. I was dying. Only this time, you weren't there. You weren't there to save me. But I was there to save you, Greenlee. I took care of you. And now, here you are. Safe with me. I am safe, aren't I? I want to hate you for everything you're doing to keep me with you. But I can't, David. I can't hate you. Not after what you did for me that night and what you did for me after. It's all very gratifying to hear. But it still doesn't explain what you were looking for in this room. Come on, Greenlee, call me back. Just call me back. Just pick up the phone and call me back. Ring! Hello? What? A subscription? No, 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 thank you. God. Kendall. Kendall. Kendall, Kendall, come on now. Kendall, just pick it up. Pick up the phone. Hey, it's it's Ryan. Hi. Um, look, I'm really worried about Greenland right now. I think she could be in some serious trouble, okay? So when you get the message, could you just go over there and um you know what forget it. I'm gonna take care of this myself. Hurry. ABC. Hey, I, I was just uh, kind of running out. Yeah, like you were late to a fire. Is it not a good time? I promise it won't take long. I just, it's, it's for tomorrow night. Oh, look, you get. Wait, tomorrow night? Oh. The big party? You know, the black tie, the slinky dress. Well, the dress probably uh. would be for me, and the tie. Ryan. Mm. It's really not a good time, huh? Oh, you got me a gift? This is so sweet. Look, I didn't even, I didn't, you know, I didn't get, okay, this is, oh, man. We did this. This is, I love them. Cufflinks. Yes. Special cufflinks, see? Oh, it's got a it, dice with the three shown, and this one's got. And a four. Oh. So, see, you roll a winner. I love them. I love them. Thank you. And I'm, I'm going to thank you properly later, okay? Mm -hmm. But now I kind of... You gotta go. Kind of, yeah. I gotta go. It's a bit of a, an emergency. I'm assuming that means Greenlee. <sighs> Just be careful. I will. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. 
Especially after I invested all that money in those cufflinks. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna make this up to you, okay? I'm gonna make it up to you. Yeah, I'm not keeping score. Much. When I woke up and I, um, I realized you weren't here, I, I, I was in a panic. And I looked down at my hand and my ring wasn't there and I remember taking it off, but I don't remember where I put it. I needed something to hold on to, you know, something real. And then I just went kind of crazy and started looking for it and... I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's how it happened. Okay. Don't move from there. Why? Just stay right there. I want to show you something. You took it off last night when you were about to shower. You put it in the drawer. I want you to know, Greenlee, that I'm still there to catch you. I will always keep you safe. You do know that, don't you? If there wasn't a part of me that knew that, I wouldn't have been so scared. You know, maybe you shouldn't take that off. You don't want to lose it. <laughs> I won't. I think I'm going to take a walk and get some air. You want some company? No, no, that's OK. I'll, I won't be long. Call me if you need me. to the hospital. She in inhaled a fair amount of smoke. Is she going to be okay? Yeah, I think so. Frankie's on duty. He'll take good care of her. Jesse, I was so scared. If, if, if Caleb wasn't here, I Baby, this is... don't, don't, don't do it. No, he, he's the one who ran upstairs. We carried her down. I could have never done that. Well, you would have figured something out. Then. No! I, I, you would... Jesse, no. I have got to stop kidding myself. Now, these, these episodes with me losing my sight are becoming more and more frequent. And one day is going to be permanent. Until then. No, day. no, that is it. No more. Now, lives are at stake, and I am the one who's putting them there. Jesse, I cannot be a doctor anymore. I can't. I need a doctor here. I need a doctor. Are you a doctor? Yeah, I'm Dr. Hubbard. Hubbard. I just left a Dr. Hubbard. Are you, are you related to her? It's my mother. Is she going to be okay? Blood pressure? 82 over 55. Are you listening to me? Is she going to be okay? The whole hospital's listening to me, okay? We got this covered, so let's roll in here. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I got to be sure she's I okay. You, you got to wait out here and let me do my job. scared me half to death. I'm sorry. What the hell happened? David walked in right after I found the key. I thought it would look a little suspicious if I was talking to you. Okay, so what happened? I was brilliant, as usual. Did you say so yourself? Well, I thought that David caught me. I thought he was going to drug me or strangle me or stick me in a dungeon somewhere. But you were brilliant, so that didn't happen. Well, the sad part is David actually thinks that he's doing this out of love. For us, he keeps on saying. Hey, don't feel too sorry for him. Trust me, I'm not. So where is he now? At home. At home? He just let you walk out of here? How do you know he didn't follow you? Trust me, Ryan. He bought the whole story. And I got this. Yes. This is going to be the key to your freedom. 